Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please um, either put the thumbs up. I don't really want you to put the thumbs down, but you can if you don't like what I'm talking about. And you can share and you can subscribe. Um, I came across a video this morning and I thought I had to do something about it. Well, I had to share it with you because the lady in the video is clearly disturbed. You'll have to excuse the profanities. There seem to be a lot of profanities these days, but you can't blame it with all the pressures of life. So I'm going to share it with you. And um, I don't think, well, let me just share it with you first. You might not be able to see it clearly, but. Listen, I am very pissed off right now. You're in a lot of Jamaican in Jamaica talking about they don't want a foreigner out here. And they don't want a foreigner in their house. And both a foreigner a carry corona come a Jamaica come give them. Let me tell you something. You don't shut up no mama up because you don't know what to talk to. You don't shut up and go away. You don't want to go away. Because you swing corona over and when someone don't want a foreigner to come out of the yard. I hope a foreigner them don't come out of the yard. And when you don't want to go to Western Union and call foreign and foreign to beg no money. None of them have to send no money for where they come in and out of the hotel. I'm ungrateful. No foreign and no bring Corona from Jamaica to go. No Chinese go to Corona. And the Chinese don't have to pack up in our country. And Chinese like send all the things from Jamaica to go. No. I sell you know, all kinds of things out there. I care Corona to go. No. But now I come to talk about the foreign from New York and, and England and Canada, carry Corona come out of Congo. No, no, go away. No, go away. No, go away. And take the motor of a foreigner because you can't live like we. You can't live like foreigners. I mean, you know, one come up in the motor and I come talk about. One of the slow motor Jamaica criticize foreigner come talk about the foreigner carry Corona come take over Jamaica. Foreigner na carry Corona come take over Jamaica. You know, Jamaica, you can't speak foreign language no way. We don't have to run off the motor come talk about foreign or care corona come to Jamaica. And the blood clad Chinese, they don't have to talk to we create corona and care come to Jamaica to destroy Jamaica. And we don't have to we don't follow social distance. We don't have to follow social distance. We don't have to wear masks. We don't have to wash our hands. And we don't have to do nothing right out there. We don't pack up like a sardine in a heavy store. We don't have to follow the government set. I don't know come come talk about no foreign I don't know one foreign in Jamaica. We saw one video out there where it's two foreign people them turn up a roadside with their suitcase and the whole I want to turn up for the people them. I can't tell the people them say if they go back a foreign because nobody don't want them in their house out there. I hope one no blood clad corona over out here. Foreign people who don't say no 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 money come out there come get the drunk on them. Make them dead for hungry out here. Because they're too disrespectful I come talk about foreign Foreign care corona come out and I run out to foreign people. I mean, foreign people can't go nowhere in Jamaica right now. I'm going to talk nowhere out there. They might violate the foreign of them out there, bad. So, me and me could not know. Anybody call on a foreign and I come talk about them want money. Tell them to kiss on the fucking ass. Tell them to the kiss on the ass when you don't give them no money in Jamaica. Now, send no money. Wow. For those of you who don't understand Patwa, basically she's really distraught because she's seen a video where they're disrespecting people who have either come from the UK or USA or Canada and they're telling them to get out and, you know, the people have come to visit people and they don't want them in the country. So that's basically what's going on and what she's saying is that, you know, it has been people who have left Jamaica and when they're talking about foreigners... I think they're talking about those people. They, they're they probably Jamaican-born, but they left Jamaica to go and live in the UK, Canada, or the USA. And so when they go back, they're considered foreign. They're not considered, even though they're born, even though they're indigenous Jamaicans, they're not considered Jamaicans because they left the country. And these are the people who are being um, chastised because it is alleged that it was a UK person who first bought the, um, the coronavirus into the country. We do not know how it's got into the country. We also do not know how, this, um, how it's spread so violently across the world. It was supposed to, it's alleged to have started in Wuhan in China. All of a sudden, it's all over the world. 
whether you're practicing social distancing or not, people are dropping dead like flies. There is something not quite right about what is going on, but we do not know what's going on. We know that the virus exists. We don't know to what extent. And it is a very mysterious um, virus and what Donald Trump calls the invisible enemy. It's the invisible enemy because it's causing enmity. It's not only killing people, but it's killing people's hearts. It's killing people's souls. It's turning people against each other. Look at that. That is divide and rule. And this coronavirus, it hasn't, oh, it's done so much damage. It's not only dividing and rule. It's not only creating homelessness. It's not only creating poverty. It's not only creating anger. It's not only creating racism. It's not only creating segregation. And people are falling into the trap. They're turning on each other without any reason to. They really need to check themselves and, fight and, and see that it's a part of a bigger plan. Do you know how easy it is when people are divided, to conquer them. They're turning us against the Chinese by saying it started in there. We do not know how it started. I saw a video um, about some birds and it reminded me of that track, Black birds singing in the dead of the night. Anyway, there's all these Jamaicans that turned up in Savannah Lamar. Look. Look, looking at this guy, I'm not a black bird. You're not Savannah Lamar, are you? I don't think you can see it anyway. Hold on, nice guy. Be a black bird. Yeah, it's a waste of time showing you that. But there's thousands of blackbirds flying in Savlamar. And how do they just come from nowhere? How do we know they haven't been injected with pathogens and let loose over Jamaica? We don't know. Nobody knows how we, they, we are told that the coronavirus is airborne, which means it comes from above. So, and then we're told it comes through droplets, and then we're told it can jump from goodness knows how many feet. We do not know. We know that it is happening. Something is happening. We do not know what. But what we do know is that we have control over our reactions we have control over our relationships. We have control over how we interact with each other. And we have control on how we respect each other and appreciate each other. And we must not turn on each other. I mean, this is a prime example of how people are turning upon each other. And what do you think this is going to do for tourism in Jamaica? You think when tourists hear how people are behaving to foreigners, they're going to want to go to Jamaica? Don't you realise um, those Jamaicans who are guilty of behaving in this way, that you're, turn, you're, 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 you're kind of destroying the country. You're the country relies on tourism. Your country relies on foreign currency. Your country relies on foreigners. So you can't be treating them disrespectfully. Stop falling into the trap of divide and rule. Show the love. Because only love can conquer hate. Only love can get us out of this situation. Only unity and sticking together, regardless of where you are in the world. If you're black, you're black. You don't have to be saying, oh, you're foreigner, you're this and that. You're black. So you've got no business turning your back and treating black people like crap. It's like those deportees coming in, 62 deportees come into Jamaica. You know, people are telling them from go back where they come from. You don't know whether you don't know whether or not they were guilty of a crime. You you live in a racist society. You do not know whether um, there's some kind of trumped up charge against these people. You don't know. And yet you are the judge and the jury and the condemner. What right do you have? Let he who cast the first stone. Are you so innocent? Have you never wanted an opportunity to go abroad? And OK, maybe you didn't want to go abroad, but you can't chastise those who do. And there are many people, Jamaicans, who live outside the country, who love Jamaica and want to go back. And yet the way you're behaving is like you're, you're stopping them. You're making them think twice. They don't want to, they're kind of trapped where they are outside in the first world country. And then they can't go back home. 
because of your despicable behaviour? Get a grip, people. Get a grip. You have to change your attitude. You cannot fall into the trap of the enemy. And that is what you're doing. You're falling into the trap of the enemy, whoever the enemy is. But the enemy does want us divided. The enemy does want to cause enmity between your brother and your sisters and your relatives. You can't allow that to happen. You're lost if you allow that to happen. You're lost if you break friendships. You're lost if you turn your back on people. For whatever reason, nobody knows who bought the coronavirus in the world. Nobody knows. We can all speculate. We can listen to conspiracy theories. We can listen about 5G. We can listen about lots of things. Nobody knows the truth. All people can do is speculate and try to make sense out of something that doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that thousands of the elderly are dying in one country and they're not dying in another country. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense disproportionate blacks. That blacks are dying disproportionately in one country and they're not dying disproportionately in another country. It doesn't make sense. So get a grip with people and stop fighting each other. And try to look at the bigger picture. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.